Hello and welcome to tonight's webinar, Introducing Schwab Alliance. I'm Marcia Zappa, Affiance Financials Director of Marketing and Business Development. First of all, I wanna say thank you to you on behalf of the entire Affiance team for your role in the transition from TD Ameritrade to Charles Schwab. I know that for most of us, having to learn a new technology platform is not fun, but you're here, you're embracing it with patience and positivity, and now we're here to help. Before we get started, a few housekeeping items. We have about 20 minutes of content prepared for tonight, including answers to the questions that you submitted at registration. If you have additional questions, please submit them in the chat be sure that your name is included and someone from the Affiance team will get back to you personally tomorrow. Closed captions have been enabled for tonight's webinar, but if you find them distracting, you can turn them off in the Zoom control panels at the bottom of your screen. In the chat, we're linking a post, we're linking, we're posting a link to the Schwab Alliance login screen, as well as the Schwab Alliance app in the Apple Store and the Google Play Store. Finally, a recording of tonight's webinar will be available and shared via email in the coming days. Now I have the honor of introducing someone many of you already know from her years of top-notch client service at Affiance Financial, our Director of Client Support, Megan Pace. Thank you, Marcia, for that kind introduction. Good evening and welcome. My name is Megan Pace, and I have the pleasure of leading today's webinar, Introducing Schwab Alliance. On behalf of the Greater Affiance team, we're glad you're here. We appreciate the opportunity to support you in one of many webinars we have offered over the years. Today's webinar allows us to explore Schwab Alliance together. Let me start by reminding you that this is not a mandatory platform. Schwab Alliance is an online tool that allows you access to your Schwab accounts. Your Affiance financial team continues to use the Black Diamond client portal to show your accounts in aggregate. Schwab Alliance is a complement to Black Diamond and shows only those accounts housed at Schwab. So join me as we navigate Schwab Alliance at a high level. Think of this as Schwab Alliance 101. My role today is to support your access to Schwab Alliance by logging in, navigate you through settings as an account holder, and review contents of documents in Schwab Alliance, a reason I believe many of you are here today. Your role will be to determine if this platform is additive to your financial story. You have two options for logging into Schwab Alliance, as there are two entry points, a web-based version and the Schwab Alliance app. Each looks like what you see in front of you. I know today's attendance includes couples and partners. So as a reminder, this platform requires you to have a login independent of your spouse or partner. Of course, we understand the desire to see accounts by household. If you would like to request to view or access to your spouse's accounts, please contact a member of your Affiance financial team. We will prepare the paperwork and have you and your partner sign via DocuSign to allow you to see both yours and your spouse's or partner's accounts. This same rule applies to parents and children to view accounts. Again, please contact a member of your Affiance financial team. If this is your first time logging in, you will confirm who you are through a series of personal indicators unique to you. You'll see there, you'll be asked for your account number, date of birth, phone number, and full social, social security number. Notice that they're not asking for your email at this time. Today, I will be using the web-based version of Schwab Alliance. Please note that there are two pages to confirm your access to Schwab. The first page contains your login ID and password, as seen here. This page will be used each and every time you log in. This is the first step of a two-step process called two-factor authentication, 
or 2FA. There are a few options to review before logging in, including remember login ID. By clicking here, your login ID here will be saved each time you log into Schwab Alliance. The Start Here page allows you to open to a page different than the default of account summary. For example, clicking on the History page is helpful if you know you want to review recent transactions right away. And finally, click on the blue hyperlink for Forgot Login ID or Forgot Password if either of those cases applies to you. So let's get logged in. The second page for logging in contains the second part of a 2FA as seen here. The second part of a 2FA is something you possess, such as a temporary numerical code sent as a text to your cell phone. The text me frame is best used when cell numbers are attached to your Schwab account. The call me is best used when a home or work line is attached to the account. And finally, the call Schwab frame can be used if you would prefer to contact a representative at Charles Schwab to authenticate you before logging in. They'll ask you for a series of information about you and about your account before authenticating you and approving access. As I click on text me, because that's appropriate for me, you'll see here I have a work number here on top and I have my cell number. I'm gonna click on my cell. If you prefer to skip the second step of a 2FA, as seen here, simply enter the security code here. And click trust this device, and you will not be prompted for the 2FA for subsequent logins, meaning you will only need your login ID and password for future access. Now that we're logged in, let's take a minute to get familiar with the layout. At the top, you have options for accounts and move money. These are called tabs. Below that are sub tabs. And over to the right, you have icons, including messages, support, profile, and logout. Again, these are the tabs, these are the sub tabs, and these are the icons. Now back to the first tab, Accounts. Under Accounts, you'll find such tabs as Account Summary, Balances, Positions, History, and Statements. Your Account Summary includes the aggregated amount of all accounts at Schwab. This means if you have four accounts listed, the summary includes the combination of all account values. For example, one, two, three, four, and that's the total aggregate amount. The balances subtab includes the amount by account. Use the blue button here to filter to the account you wish to review. Use the date button to go to a specific date. Always remember to click that go so that it accepts what your query is. Positions. Include the amount you have in cash and cash investments, cash and cash investments as seen here, and market value. Positions can be shown aggregated. For example, I can go to all brokerage accounts or individually through each account. Your account history subtab includes transactions such as funds in and funds out. Use the blue drop down option to filter by account and then use the date tab here to get the desired range. For example, if I want the current month to search the current month for this account, I'll simply click on the account here, the date range and press search. And there I have it. I imagine one of the most frequent in tabs in Schwab Alliance is the statement tabs. Please note your data has moved over from TD Ameritrade. Therefore, statements you are able to find with your TD Ameritrade login, you will find at Schwab Alliance. This includes 
10 years of account statements, seven years of tax documents, including 1099s, four years of transaction history, and two years of trade confirmations. If I'm looking at the last 12 months of statements, for example, and I want statements and trade confirmations, I'm gonna make sure statements is clicked here. I'm in addition, gonna click on trade confirms. And then as a reminder, make sure you press that search button so that it understands what your query is. If I want to download this most recent statement, for example, the statement from August 31st, while we were on TD Ameritrade, I simply click this brokerage statement here and I can download it there. For an easy, quick tip, if you're exploring and navigating Schwab Alliance and you want to get back to the main account summary page, click the blue Charles Schwab button here in the upper left-hand corner and it'll take you back to your initial view, a place you will become familiar with. Next tab, the Move Money tab. This includes options such as recent transactions and options for initiating transfers and checks. As a note, your appliance team remains available to support these kinds of transactions, including transfers to and from your account. Connecting with your appliance financial advisor is important in the event you want to invest or withdraw funds. They understand your long-term financial picture and are here to make recommendations with a focus on tax-efficient planning and execution. Now that we've covered the basics of tabs and sub-tabs, let's move over here to the right, the icons. As you click on the profile icon, you can see options such as security settings, contact information, beneficiaries, account groups, paper lists. If we explore profile security settings, I want to point out to you the second tab down, security credentials. This will be a place to update your password or, or login ID as you need. Next, I'd like to point out this web session timeout. This is a place where you can alter the timeout from when you log in to when you log out of Schwab Alliance. For example, if I wanted to stay logged in for an hour today, I simply click the hour and I will be logged out after one hour's time in my Schwab Alliance. Back to the profiles page, you'll find contact information. Contact information, of course, is facts about you, where you live, your email, your phone number, this is a good place to review your information. When it comes to an update, please contact a member of your affiance team. For example, if you are updating your address, this may be part of a larger conversation with your advisor. Outside of discussions about money, questions like, are you moving because of medical reasons? Are you moving out of state? Become part of your financial story. It is important to us at Affiance Financial to understand your full financial story so that you are advised appropriately for your unique situation. Under beneficiaries, you can review your beneficiaries for your different accounts. Again, when it comes to updating this information, please contact a member of your Affiance team. Adjusting beneficiary information has bigger implications, like how it affects your estate plan and does your team at Affiance need to review other accounts outside of Schwab to add or remove a beneficiary? Again, it is about your Affiance team supporting your full financial story. Under Profile and Account Groups, you can categorize and nickname accounts. For example, I've nicknamed this account Family. In addition, I can create a custom group. For example, Maybe I have a custom group named Cabin. Oops. Pardon me, I think I need to delete that one first. And now here I've got the custom group Cabin. You can find this back on the accounts page under the sub tab balances. And now I see here, I've got my family account and 
oh, it looks like it didn't quite update, but I've got vacation, or in other words, I could put cabin here. Finally, back to the profile icon, I want to review paperless. You can elect to go paperless on one or all of your accounts. By clicking here, you're enrolling in paperless for all accounts. Some of you may still prefer to get tax forms on paper by mail. In that case, you're going to unselect it for the accounts that's applicable for you. For example, if I wanna be paperless for all of these except not for tax forms, I simply click off those. You just must do it for each one and click Submit. As we stay on top of the page, you'll see the support icon. This connects you to Schwab contact information and documents. To the left, you'll see the messages with a blue button. This blue button means I have activity to read and review. Messages come from Schwab directly and from your finance team. A message from Schwab may include their upcoming holiday hours or a note about updated contact information. A message from a finance using the Schwab Alliance platform will start with an email generated to you that lets you know documents await your review. Once you access Schwab Alliance, you will review messages by clicking here. This is a smaller version of the messages. However, I'm gonna to go to the larger version where it's what is called the message center. You can see here that I have made a change of my email address. I've changed it on four accounts, hence the reason I have four notifications here. I've also changed my primary email address. If I'm done reading that message, I can elect to delete it or I can elect to delete all of them. However, I mentioned before that a message from a client starts with documents from your advisor are ready for your review. This is that call to action to review and approve activity. For those who, who elect not to use Schwab Alliance, please note that our team continues to use DocuSign for electronic authorization and signatures. For example, if you requested a wire sent from your account, you will be asked to approve it here. As I referenced earlier, I'm going to click here. I recognize that this is from a finance. I can see our office phone number here. I can see our address and even our website. Now I'm ready to move forward by clicking review envelope. This is something that I requested as a client of a finance financial, and I will approve and authorize that change here. I recommend reviewing messages, the message icon each time you log into Schwab Alliance. But remember, there's no signature required. Your authorization is already given by logging into Schwab Alliance and clicking review envelope and clicking agree and submitting. So there you are. We have successfully covered the basics. We have discussed tabs, subtabs, and the icons. We've reviewed how to log in, whether your first access or subsequent access. We've navigated the Schwab Alliance tabs and even the statements tab, a reason again many of you have joined us tonight. The last Alliance item is logging out. At the top right of the page, please use the log out button to confirm you have successfully logged out of Schwab Alliance. Before we log off today, I want to take a minute to introduce you to the client support team at Affiance Financial. From Susan, your client service manager, to Brittany, Mitch, Brianna, your client service spe specialist, Lucas, your dedicated pair planner, and the administrative team of Shelby and Nicole, we are here for you. We take pride in delivering the exceptional service you have come to expect from us. And finally, thank you. Thank you for joining me as we explore Schwab Alliance together. We're glad you chose to spend a bit of your evening with us. Affiance Financial is pleased to serve you, and we appreciate the trust and confidence you have placed in us. Thank you and enjoy the remainder of your evening.